Hi everyone, uh, welcome to today's topic and today we'll discuss a few points uh, regarding the VH device spinning in the AWS cloud also how to onboard the new VH device in the AWS okay uh, let's quickly discuss few points uh, basically the organization uh, deploy uh, VH routers right in a form of software or in the form of hardware at the enterprise sites maybe the uh, remote, bra remote branch sites okay and this uh, VH connects uh, to the VPC host via the VPC gateway. So basically what happens is uh, if you don't have this uh, VH here, so all your branch sites will have to connect to your VHost and that will uh, you know increase your CapEx and also increase the cost of the uh, cloud deployment. So in case if you have the VH in between, so VH will form the tunnel between the host VPC and the gateway VPC. From uh, VH, this, this is called as a gateway VPC. From this gateway VPC, the branch site will have the IPsec tunnel okay that is one bigger advantage and second thing uh, I can see right uh, this VPC gateway right this also act as a regional point of access because uh, AWS a different region where you have already migrated your uh, on-premises to the cloud uh, applications so when we have done with different region so this will act as your regional point of access and uh, we manage right so uh, is a nms uh, and it offers the full life cycle management and helps to spin and tear the vm uh, easily and also it helps to manage the uh, aws cloud and second uh, thing is the cisco offers uh, something called application hour routing uh, this feature helps to choose the best path for deliver the application of the transport network so basically we have internet and uh, mpls and 4g and 5g connectivity right so advantage of st1 it can transfer to any any uh, medium right so that's a very big advantage of uh, sd1 so using that uh, it will uh, you know take care of the latency packet loss and it will pass the traffic to the best application right so because it's already aware the application uh, you know have routing so it's know which path that it's supposed to send which transport so it's easy for the users okay that is a biggest advantage of using the vh in the aws cloud so okay let's log into our uh, aws dashboard let's do a quick lab uh, click on e ec2 instance dashboard and click on launch instance and I'll click on VH. So this is how you need to add your VPC gateway. So just give a name, VPC gateway. If you scroll down here, uh, this all the basic uh, free tier, uh, free tier accounts where you can spend it. So I'm gonna use the browse more AMIs and click on AWS Marketplace AMI. Here you can click check VH. Okay, currently we have two options. One is the VH uh, cloud router and second one is the CSR 1000V. So we are going to use the VH cloud router here. Click here to see the information related to that. Here you can see this is the 0 0.105 pi slash per hour for using this particular VM, particular image. And uh, these are the features uh, which I've highlighted and this is the pricing so the vendor is recommended is c3 large and uh, the uh, vh cloud at the with come at no price but if you are spending at the c3 large that has the cost and second you can see by default uh, the vms right so whatever that you are spinning in the uh, vms you are spinning in the aws so default it can, comes with an uh, you know the root as a username and password but here we uh, use the admin as an username okay so you need to make sure that what is the username that vendor has specified so click on continue Second, okay and now we have added it and click on scroll down here okay here you can see uh, we are allowing the ssh from and we are also allowing the tcp dump but mostly SSH is enough, but still I just click because anyway, it's a lab environment. So I just allowed it. And uh, if you go up, sorry, scroll down and you can see the uh, RAM and you can see the uh, the EBS volume. Click on advanced details. I have a few more options to select the DNS host name and everything. So anyway, we don't need this to select now for the lab purpose. So I'm quickly going up. 
and it's asking for the key pair so this is very important and this two instance type right so i can click here uh, i can use this uh, t2 dot medium the currently this recommender is t3 c3 but i am using it because it's a lab one right so i'm picking this up if i don't want to pay the money right uh, and then the key pair this is very important because uh, this using this key pair only will be able to uh, access the ssh uh, to the uh, vh device how do we do that is like uh, you can create a new pair i'll show you how to create it you can click here you can give some name you anyway we are using the putty so when putty is used like you can dot ppk image so here you can give like uh, you know some name matrix some name you can give then you can create a key pair then you can download it i have already done that so i have the key pair so i am using the existing key pair which i created and i checked few things okay this one is done this one is done okay and we have the public ip also so i'm going to click launch instance it will take few seconds to launch the instance once it is launched then uh, we'll be able to access it from the party so for that you have to click on ssh because we have the key pair file right so uh, so that we have to upload it so click on authentication credential then this is the private key for authentication so click here so here see uh, i said right so i already generated and downloaded in my laptop so i'm gonna use this key to log in okay so yes i have uh, let me go to the instance if you click here it will take you to the instance in the next tab okay it is running so i'm just waiting okay i have the public ip now okay so i can take this click public ip then i'll be able to log in put this ip and enter it will ask for username you know that the username that we supposed to use is a admin so i think uh, okay it says running but here you can see it's initializing the status check so it should work status should be okay then we'll be able to yeah we got the access the username is admin once you click on this admin the password will be taken care from the key pair that we uploaded private key yeah we got the access now now here you can see the default configuration here right uh, it has the v bond zp.webtela.com uh, which we discussed this is used for the uh, bringing the VH using the ZTP so we can change the uh, you know this this one and the next step to bring up anything configure the VBOND IP which, uh, which is reachable from the public okay that is one thing and uh, second thing is configure the certificate so how do we know the uh, root CA you can simply log into your uh, V manage then click on administration settings so this we already discussed how to bring the VH using CLI and ZTP. Uh, it falls into the same process. So once you configure the V bond IP and the host name, then uh, you can use this uh, certificate. So you can click here view. Yeah, here this is the certificate. Control the certificate. Then go here and you know right V shell. Center to the shell and you create a file root ca dot pem insert right click paste it okay and go into the cli mode and you can see request root search chain install slash home slash admin root ca dot pem okay the root chain certificate has been installed you can check show control local preference here you can see installed okay our root ca chain is installed now okay the only thing next is that we have to do is to configure the v bond ip so basically currently i don't have the uh, v the uh, manager like uh, 
set up vManage or vBond in the public. So if you have it, you can configure this. Otherwise, you can spin the vBond, vManage and everything in the AWS only using the uh, private setup that you can connect. Uh, you can using the you know internal interface, you can connect your VHS to your uh, vManage and uh, you know vbond and v smart so that is once you configure and reachable then you can push the configuration from your uh, vmanage to your vhs uh, this is the uh, simple you know explanation and the you know demonstration how to uh, you know uh, spin the vhs in the aws cloud thank you very much for watching